Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a quick video, if you are following new features in the Insider program that late on Friday on the 8th of March last week in my region, Microsoft rolled out their latest Windows 11 Insider preview build to the beta channel, which is build 22635.3286, and that was with the update KB5035950. And just in case you're wondering, last week Microsoft did not roll out a dev and canary channel build and i actually think that's happened two weeks in a row now first of all what's new and what are the changes and improvements that are gradually being rolled out to the beta channel if you have your toggle turned on on your windows update page to get the latest updates as soon as they're available now first of all microsoft say they are trying out a new experience for copilot that helps showcase the ways that Copilot can accelerate and enhance your work. Now, currently in the stable version, Copilot, if you click on the little uh, system tray icon, already has some animations that are taking place, as you can see. And um, when I click on the Copilot button, uh, in an anti-clockwise kind of circular motion, that Copilot logo logo moves around. Now, in regards to this, um, Microsoft says in the beta channel for last week that um, this experience now will show when you copy text. And that's because Copilot supports um, actions that you can take with text uh, text content. And in a case like this, Microsoft says the Copilot icon will change appearance and animate to indicate that Copilot can help. And there will be several different treatments, so you may notice a different visual effect. So as you can see, um, for this example, in this image provided from the release notes, we can see there's this little um, orange pencil. So that's an animation they are testing. And then we get the co-pilot actions to send to chat, explain, summarize directly um, from that co-pilot button. Now, they also mentioned that when you hover your mouse over the co-pilot icon, it will provide a menu of actions that you can take, as mentioned, such as summarizing or explaining the copied text and if you select an action on the menu it will launch copilot with the action ready to go according to microsoft so that's the first change in the beta channel so microsoft obviously am um, focusing a lot on ar and copilot and we are expecting a lot more ar integration with copilot in our next annual feature update rolling out september october later this year for windows 11 version 24h2 as i have been posting now, something else they're also working on with Copilot is currently in the stable version, if we just head to an image, you are unable to drag that image onto the Copilot button to open that image. The only way that drag and drop support works in the stable version is if you drag it into the actual uh, the, the chat field. There we go. And then you can ask Copilot anything about that image yeah, in the chat box. Now, this could all be set to change. And I actually think this will be a nice move uh, in the right direction where Microsoft says over and above um, the copy and text support, as we've just spoken about, um, they are also going to support the ability to launch Copilot if you start dragging an image. So you just drag the image file onto the Copilot icon in the taskbar and Copilot will open, which I think will be a nice move. So as mentioned, that means you just drag that if you are in the beta channel and onto the, the button. And I think that's a nice move because it just is a bit of a time-saving multitasking improvement if you are using that feature. And something else to take note of, you can also then drop the image into the text box in Copilot and type an action, as I just demonstrated, that you would like to take on the image content. So a couple of little small but maybe significant changes taking place for uh, Copilot in the beta channel from last week. And there's a good chance those features will make it their way to the stable in up and coming stable releases. And then just to mention two fixes, uh, they fixed an issue that was causing settings to crash for some insiders when going to system nearby sharing. And I have also noticed that Microsoft is focusing quite a lot uh, in the insider program on fixing issues with nearby sharing. And they also fixed an issue causing an increase of explorer.exe crashes for insiders in the beta channel in the last two flights. And your explorer.exe, as you may well know by now, is your 
um, shell of your OS. So that would be your start menu, your search, notifications, file explorer, and so on, just to mention a couple of examples. So that's more or less, guys, what's new for the beta channel. As mentioned, with the release of, um, as mentioned previously, with the release of Moment 5 recently, the feature update, um, obviously there's a lot less going on now uh, in the beta channel. And when things start moving into the beta channel now, I would suggest that those are features we are now going to start seeing roll out with the 24H2 feature update late this year. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.